guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kiki today's video is all about my weight loss journey on a plant-based diet you guys have requested this video a bunch so here you go all right so I'm gonna be answering you guys' questions you ask a lot you know what did my exercise routine look like was I vegetarian before did I eat a standard American diet? Did I switch cold turkey to a plant-based diet? Was I heavy as a child? Those sorts of things. So I'm gonna answer all of that for you guys today. And remember, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Plantable Kiki or on Facebook at the Plantable Kiki page. I do post lots of food and lifestyle inspiration there that I don't have videos for here. So make sure you check me out there. And of course, please hit like and subscribe. It helps me make more videos for you guys. I'm just gonna start right back at the beginning. I have been plant-based now for about two and a half years and in that time I have been able to reverse all of my health issues. I had high blood pressure, high triglycerides, high cholesterol, I was pre-diabetic and I was about 66 pounds heavier than I am today. I also had a bunch of female hormonal issues going on and those have all resolved themselves as well. So you guys asked me a lot about how long did it take me to lose all of this weight and it took me about 14 months to get all of the weight off and that's without calorie counting or extreme exercise. Walking was my exercise. Um, I do think that the weight loss would have been a lot faster had I switched to a completely whole food plant-based diet from the beginning but life is a journey and I'm grateful for the path that I have been on. Okay, so was I overweight as a child? I was not. I was actually a pretty skinny kid and my son is really skinny like I was growing up. I started putting on some weight in high school and getting a little bit thicker but still within a healthy weight range and then in my 20s after I had my first child, I got really into nutrition and and exercise and so I exercised a ton and counted calories and ate a high protein low carb diet and I was able to maintain my weight at about 135 pounds now I am five feet four inches and that falls within a healthy weight range for me but it was hard like it was a struggle to maintain 135 pounds which is at the upper end of a healthy weight range for me I had to count calories and I was exercising and weightlifting a ton and I was really burnt out from all of it in my late 20s I found out that I was pregnant with my second child Child. So I just took that as an opportunity to take a break from calorie counting and from extreme exercise and I still tried to make healthy choices but I put on a ton of weight. I gained about 55 pounds I think with that pregnancy or 50 pounds. Maybe I gained 50 pounds with that pregnancy and when I got pregnant it was actually a little bit lighter. It was like 133 pounds which I had been able to maintain for several years. It was a struggle but I maintained it um, and yeah after I gave birth I was 185 pounds and then I lost a little bit of weight initially I thought I was going to lose all the weight breastfeeding like I had with my son and not only did I not lose weight I had like gained another 10 pounds so I kind of fluctuated between 185 and 193 for I want to say like two years and that was really hard for me. It was really hard on my self-esteem. It was really hard on my body. I started developing all these health issues as a result of all that weight gain. So I worked really hard, tried to lose that weight. I started exercising heavily. You know, I did extreme exercise routines, lots of cardio, lots of weightlifting. I was trying to eat better, trying to eat high protein, high fat, low carb, and I would lose like six pounds and then gain four back and then I would lose and gain back and that was just kind of the cycle I was in forever and even after I would lose 10 15 pounds my numbers weren't getting better I was still you know pre-diabetic my cholesterol had not improved my blood pressure hadn't improved none of that had improved so I was super frustrated at that point I had been talking to a friend and she'd like mentioned casually that hey there's this doctor that I follow 
helped me lose 40 pounds and helped me get rid of my health issues. And he helps people heal their bodies with eating potatoes. And I was like, girl, like I am Latina. Diabetes is real for my people. I cannot be eating potatoes. And she just laughed. She's like, you need to read his book. Just check it out. So I got his book and it was Dr. John McDougall's book, The Starch Solution, as most of you know. And that book changed my life. So I went from a high fat, high protein, low carb diet to a high carb, low fat, plant-based diet and that has changed my life. So to answer your guys' question, was I vegetarian before? No, I was not. I ate a standard American diet. I thought I was being healthy, eating lots of chicken and fish and trying to eat vegetables, but that my vegetables were always covered in like grass-fed butter or coconut oil. And I ate a lot of dairy, even though I tried to like control the amount of cheese I ate, like it's so addicting. So I did eat a lot of cheese. And and even though we thought we were being healthy, like we'd still eat at restaurants and like we'd order out pizza and like tacos, you know, all sorts of stuff that's just terrible now. So we switched cold turkey to our plant-based diet. We did not slowly transition. We read lots of books, watched lots of lectures and decided that that needed to happen immediately, not only for my health, but for the health of my family. So we transitioned cold turkey. So I know you guys ask that a lot and you guys want to know like, how did I eat in the very beginning? Was I always such a whole food plant-based eater? And I was not. So when we switched over to a plant-based diet, we followed the recommendations outlined in Dr. McDougall's book, The Starch Solution. Um, and he allows for moderately processed foods like whole grain pastas, whole grain breads, whole grain cereals, things like that. Um, he likes you to reduce the amount of nuts and seeds you eat, but still have them in your diet because they're healthy. And to, of course, completely eliminate all oils because they are a severely refined food that have no actual nutrition. They're just like liquid calories. We did that and I started losing weight immediately. Like in the beginning, I was eating cereal for breakfast and having bowls of pasta for lunch and breads and I was like in piglet heaven because I had been staying away from carbs as much as possible for so long that I like could not believe that I was eating these foods and losing weight. Bear in mind I had a lot of weight to lose. So my weight did stall out after about four months. I had lost 35 pounds, but then I just was not losing anymore. My husband like lost all his weight, didn't need to change how he was doing things, but I had to go from Dr. McDougall's starch solution program to his McDougall program for maximum weight loss. Now, if you're new to this or interested in figuring out how this works, make sure you watch my videos on maximum weight loss with the starch solution. I outline how I did it. Everything is in there to show you how to lose weight easily with a plant-based diet. I will link them in the description box for you guys and pop up some cards as well. So when I switched to the maximum weight loss program, that was where you eliminate the refine find plant-based foods completely. So you move into a completely whole food plant-based diet. So now I don't eat breads, pastas, cereals, things like that. Instead of having cereal in the morning, I eat a big bowl of oatmeal and I also have a big bowl of veggies on, not on my oatmeal, like on the side. Um, instead of bowls of pasta, I'll have, you know, bowls of rice and beans or a big plate of baked french fries and some vegetables and a big salad, things like that. He also has you cut out nuts and seeds and avocados for the time being just to give your body a chance to burn through that fat and let go of it. I have now reintroduced those foods into my diet because they are healthy and you need to have them um, and I haven't gained any weight. So once I did that, it took me about another three or four months to get the other bulk of the weight off. And then like the last eight pounds slowly trickled off over the remaining three months because the, the closer you get to an ideal weight for your body, the slower the weight comes off. So in total, it was about 14 months before I like consistently sat at around 123 pounds. Okay, so the topic of exercise comes up a lot. You guys are always sending me messages and commenting, asking, you know, how much did I have to exercise and how much do I exercise now? Was I always um, active? And so I have always been an extremely athletic, active person. 
Um, but during weight loss, like I said earlier, I was so burned out. Like I just needed a break. And all I did was take a brisk 30 minute walk, 30 to 40 minute walk every day. And that was it. It really all comes down to your diet. You can't outrun a bad diet. I know you guys hear that all the time, but it's so true. But you can walk, you can walk your way to a healthy weight <laughs> with a good diet. Um, now that I am at a healthy weight and I have a ton of energy, I enjoy hiking and mountain biking. I do like to do short 15 to 20 minute hit sessions at home. I will link the body coach. He, you guys know I have a little crush on the body coach. Um, I love watching his videos on YouTube because you can get in a full body cardio fat burning workout in like 15, 20 minutes. And they have, and he has stuff for everybody level, like beginner can't do any impact to really advanced athletic level. So check him out. I just have an active lifestyle in general these days, but for weight loss, I didn't do any of this. I literally walked every day. Now the question of, do I ever enjoy treats? Do I ever eat breads and pastas or, you know, have oil? Do we ever eat out at restaurants? And the answer is of course, like I am not perfect. I do enjoy treats. I have learned though for myself that if I start having them frequently, like that frequency increases. So I definitely leave the very sugary calorie dense treats for holidays and birthdays. You know, if I like try to have a brownie every Friday night, like it turns into Saturday night and Sunday night, you know, cause there's some left over and then, you know, it just kind of snowballs from there. So I do try to leave like the really rich calorie dense foods for birthdays and holidays. Um, breads and pastas, I don't eat often. If I have bread, I have it in the form of naan. I have a really good, easy, oil-free naan recipe and I love Indian food. I'll have naan probably once a month. And pastas, I honestly, I don't eat pasta. If we go on vacation, that's pretty much all I eat eat though like for a week vacation I'll eat pasta like lunch and dinner because if there's not more you know it's like the easiest thing to eat when you're on vacation somewhere in another country you can always get a bowl of pasta with like some tomato sauce but I don't eat those things very often but um we do eat out we favor Mexican places and burrito places because you can control what they put in your burrito or in your burrito bowl in my case um, I love Asian restaurants because you can always get steamed rice and veggies um, and fresh spring rolls are my favorite and you can get a yummy sauce to put everything on. Um, I am in the love with this vegan restaurant um, in Breckenridge and their stuff is going to be definitely more rich. They have like nut cheeses and they do put oil on stuff and I don't feel bad. Like I eat a whole pizza to myself anytime I go there because it is that good. So yeah, I definitely indulge. You know, you don't have to be perfect to see weight loss or, you know, huge improvements if not reversals in your health problems. You just have to do a good job. You know, I always try to tell people, you know, don't feel like you fell off the wagon because you had something, you know, that doesn't add to your well being. Like I, you know, cause then it like, you feel like you have to get back on this wagon and no, you're just walking, you're on a journey. And sometimes there's little rocks you have to step over and it's a journey. Just take one day at a time. As long as you're consistently heading in the right direction, you're going to do great. So all in all, a whole food plant-based diet has literally given me my life back. It's given me my body back. I never imagined being in such a healthy, energetic space. Everything has improved for me health-wise. My hair, my skin, my nails, everything is just different. The amount of energy I have is incredible as well. And guys, if I can do it, you can do it. It's all about keeping things simple and loving yourself through the process. Be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Take it one day at a time. And remember always to keep this journey about health and not just about the skinny. Again, I will link all the videos that I think will be informative for you in the description box below. I will also link Dr. McDougall's books that I love and I'm going to link some lectures to a lot of the doctors that I have listened to on diabetes and plant-based diets and weight loss, 
all sorts of things. I'll put all those resources description box for you guys. So let me know if you have any other questions in the comments. That way I know how to address you guys in another video. My greatest hope is for you guys to find your own health and well-being in a whole food plant-based diet. I want you guys to see how truly easy and simple it is to eat a whole food plant-based diet. And I desire for you guys to also learn how valuable and capable you truly are and that everything you need already lives within you. All right, I love you guys and I'll see you next time.